DJ here, good afternoon. Live from the um, marina in Hugada. It is sweltering hot, but it's a, it's a cracking place. Um, I think at the moment some of it's restricted, but I'm going to show you some of the... Um, I'm going to show you some of the marvellous boats and things that are around here. Um, now, it's telling me that uh, the signal's not so good. So, if it's rubbish, I will terminate this live stream and we'll uh, just do the recording and then just do it uh, another way. That's the best way to do it, I'm afraid. So if anyone can tell me what the, uh, what the signal's like, I'd really appreciate it. Now, some of the beach, like I say, is closed off up there. They're doing some concreting work and stuff like that. Transmission is not very good, it says. Uh, I'm not doing too bad, mate. My shoulder's still giving me a right set of jip at the moment. A bit laggy. All right. Right, OK. Right, well, some of the boats here... These boats here are what they use when they go out on the uh, the diving and the snorkeling trips and and things like that. So, although they are nice big boats, they're uh, used for the diving. Right, let me see if I can change the camera so that you can... There we go, that should be... Uh, There we go. So this is what the marina looks like. Now these boats here are used for all the uh, for the boating trips and things like that. So if you go diving or you go on one of these uh, trips where they take you to different beaches and parties and stuff, that's all done on these boats. Um, Further up on the marina, that's where all the private boats are, and we'll go up there and have a look in a bit. But these are used specifically for, uh, for all the trips and things. Some very nice boats here, I'll tell you. And some money's worth. Going to buy a boat? No, no, I'm not going to buy a boat. Too much money. Too much money. Hello? Sorry, close. Close? Yes. Oh, right, okay. So that's that then. Marina is closed. So let's uh, head back out and see what we can see further down. Now, when you get down here, look at these, these apartments at the back. These are all uh, private apartments that overlook the harbour and everything. Very, very expensive here. So, um, if you've got some money, this is where you can get an apartment. And if you're like me, you can't. <laughs> so. Oh, that sun's bright in my eyes. At the moment, it's... Uh, it's late afternoon now and it's still about 35 degrees at the moment. So it's still bloody red hot. How are you doing in Australia there? Is that my boat? Yeah, I wish it was. <laughs> yeah, I wish it was my boat. Hi from Workshop. What's the weather like in Workshop? Cold and miserable, I believe. That that you can see in the front with the twin towers, that's the, uh, that's the main mosque in the city. And a very impressive building it is. Hi Gary from China. How are you doing? 
Oh yeah, it's dead safe found here. Absolutely dead safe. Really is. Security is uh, is top notch at this place. I oh, see my videos, that's why it's closing the harbour. Is that what you think? <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, as we come further up here, these are all the private yachts further up here. This is where the, uh, the multimillionaires and things keep their yachts. And yet, just the other side of these apartments here, um, it's, uh, it's, it's another world. It's third world just the other side of these apartments. Um, the, uh, <laughs> the little shops and the dirt streets and all that kind of stuff. Later on, I'm gonna be going to the, um, to the fruit market. And that is, uh, that is definitely, uh, <laughs> definitely entertaining and something that uh, you'll not see anywhere in England at all. Right, so here we are, we're coming up to the, uh, the rich people's yachts now. These are still the, uh, a lot of these yachts are still f the ones for the tours. But in the next harbour here, you'll see the difference in the yachts. These are all the millionaires ones and you can't get, uh, you can't get down there. Oh dear. It is absolutely red hot, I'm telling you. It must be getting ready for a beer time, I think. Everybody comes down here because they want photos of themselves with the yachts. Hiya, Robert, in Glasgow. No, I won't be taking the drone up. They're not letting you fly drones out here which is a bit of a bummer, really. I'd love to fly it around the marina, but uh, I think I'd have the police chasing me if I did. Here are, look. These are private yachts. Look at these. Now, I'm not gonna go too close to the water because the way I am at the moment, I'm likely to fall in. Makes a change from a rainy industrial estate in Barnsley. Yes, it does. Which yacht is mine? Mine's the big one, the biggest one, right over at the back there, mate. <laughs> uh, but look at these, look. Look at that. Makes you wonder how much, uh, how much money is invested in these things, doesn't it? At the moment it's really quiet. If you come down here about 10 o'clock at night, it's absolutely ram solid. You can't move for people. So I might do another live stream later on when it's getting dark and uh, let you see just how busy it is. Uh, mainly because there's loads of restaurants and things up and down here. 